The program to be executed by the computer needs to be read from the hard disk to the memory to form a series of process. Each process is independent resource unit. There is an independent virtual address space inside, so it is accessed according to this address. So how do processes communicate between them? In memory, there are two processes, and there is a daemon process responsible for printing. If you want to print, there will be a shared print directory waiting to be printed. Each row has a corresponding number. Suppose there are already two documents waiting to be printed. There is a shared variable in that points to the next position number 5 to be added. The other is variable out that points to the next position number 3 that needs to be printed. Now suppose there is only two CPU. So the two processes should be run alternately. Suppose that the process A is now running. At this time, if the process A wants to print a document, it needs to put it at the end of the current print queue. Therefore, it first reads position 5 from the shared global variable in. At this time, the CPU thinks that the process A has been running long enough. Instead, run process B. At this time, Process B also happens to want to print, so just like process A, it reads position from the shared variable in. Next, document B is actually placed in position 5. At exactly this time, the CPU thinks that the process B is almost done, and then turns to run process A. Process A continues the operation just now. Now that the value 5 of the shared variable in has been read, then according to position 5, position 5 is also written. This results in document B being erased before it was printed. Of course, process A also needs to add 1 to the variable in where the record is added and modify the global variable in. The printing process simply reads the out value and prints according to the position. It will not be found that the documentation of process B has been omitted. Let's generalize this example. There are two processes and only one CPU executes the two processes in turn. They share a global variable. When part of the code in the two processes reads and writes this global variable, at the same time, there will be problems due to the competition. We call this part of the code the critical section or critical regime. The solution is to read and write mutually exclusive. That is, when process A access the critical section, process B cannot access it and keeps waiting. After process A exits the critical section, Process B can enter. So how to achieve mutual exclusion? Can we add a lock, just a value? When the value is 1, it means that the share has been locked, and here is the process B has accessed. When the locked process goes out of the critical section, it unlocks and changes the value to 0 for process A to visit. Is this solved? Obviously not. Isn't this lock also a shared value? When processes read and write this lock, there will still be competition. What to do then? Let's introduce a solution. Strict rotation method. These two processes are numbered 0 and 1, respectively. They contain two pieces of code with a critical section in between. There is a lock called turn, which is a shared value. For example, it is set to 0 initially. Let's look at the first line of code on the left. It doesn't matter if you don't understand the C language, I will explain it. The meaning of this while loop is that if the term variable is not 0, it will always wait in this line of loops. And now turn is actually 0. So go directly to the next line, which is a, is a critical section. 
if the process one at this time happens to be in the first line and wants to enter the critical section. This while loop means that if the turn is not one, keep waiting in a loop. Then turn is indeed not one, so we have been waiting in this line in a loop. In this way, mutual exclusion is achieved. Then when process zero goes out of the critical area, it actively changes the log to one, so that process one can enter the critical section. After process B executes the critical section, it also takes the initiative to change the lock to zero of the other party. In this way, a state of competition is avoided. The process has become humble. However, there are also obvious problems. That is, the process need to enter the critical section strictly alternately. If one of the process is overbearing, and refuse to come up in the critical section, then the other processes can only wait. So next, we combine the idea of lock variables and warning variables, and introduce a better mutual exclusion solution called Peterson's algorithm. This is its main code. We need a lock variable turn, which represents the turn of the process number. An array of warnings variable named the interested records warnings for each process. If, if there are two processes, numbered 0 and 1, enter at the same time. For process 0, the other is 1. Then in the next line, set the 0 bit of the interested array to true. Following the third line, turn is set to 0. But at this time, process 1 also starts to enter and the first bit of the interested array is changed to true. The shared variable turn is changed to 1. Obviously, the conflict began. However, if you let the process start the conditional judgment of the Y loop, for process 0, turn is no longer its own number 0. Jump out of the Y loop and enter the critical section. For process 1, Turn is its own process number, and the zero bit of the other parties interested is also true. Therefore, if it is true, waiting a loop until process zero leaves the critical section, set the zero bit in this interested to false. At this time, the other in interested in process one is false, and the conditional statement in while is false and it starts to enter the critical section. These methods of using the while loop are called busy waiting. It will cause the CPU to spin idly. Therefore, a better way is to use a system call. At this time, the process will be suspended, and the CPU will be released. Well, the above is the mutual exclusion algorithm mentioned during inter-process communication because of shared variable. They are perfected in turn.